Hey folks, this is your solar update as promised. Now, what I told you before was a big ejection turned out not to be an ejection, but nonetheless something uh, just as significant. If you'll remember where the Earth's footprint is from this morning's news, and if you'll remember what this means, anything significant happening near the Earth's footprint has a higher chance of accelerating, uh, accelerating particles excuse me, along the magnetic tether, if you will, that connects the Earth to the Sun. Now, it just so happens that a few minutes after the two-minute news, uh, what looked like a filament eruption uh, at first to me occurred, but... It, there doesn't appear to be any ejection. However, look, this coronal feature goes right over the Earth footprint. Now, when we take a look here at the heart ma uh, magnetometer, you can see a strong disturbance uh, right on that time frame. If you want, guys want to go click on these individually. Uh, the harp resonance uh, went down from uh, 2 hertz to 0 hertz right there. That little spike you see on the total electron content matches the timestamp perfectly with the coronal feature. And also you can see right here uh, a little bit of an electron flux. You wouldn't have expected to see it there, but since we did, I'm not surprised that our ionosphere is absorbing a bunch as well. Something else to take note of. Uh, folks, you might remember a couple of days ago the moon conjoined with a couple of planetary bodies in the sky and sometime between when the moon was right here and uh, when the moon moved uh, the next day, sometime between the 25th and the 26th, uh, we had that big earthquake in Russia. It was a 6.8. Now, you might know that we hadn't had any big earthquakes, nothing over like a 5.7 in days and days. And then this one came out of nowhere. Now, it wasn't just those alignments that we had in the sky. The magnetometers were going crazy. Geomagnetic st uh, disturbance was high. And we were right at the peak of a particle flux here. This is the ghost proton flux, but uh, all of the particle fluxes showed it. Now it just so happens that this dark corona hole that is right below the cursor there, uh, almost on the center of the disk, just below the equator, uh, if you will, putting out a solar wind stream that's going to hit us this weekend. Now also this weekend, we have the Earth uh, and Mars uh, lining up with the Sun. This is called Mars Opposition. And on that exact same date, if I just flip this around right here, uh, we also have Venus and Saturn in an opposition that day as well. So we kind of have uh, potential for geomagnetic activity and planetary alignments. It could be another interesting time to uh, watch out for earthquakes, especially because we haven't had a big one in a while. Uh, just a thought, folks, something to keep an eye on. Uh, I certainly am interested in these uh, alignments happening at the same time as geomagnetic activity, and it gives us something to watch out for as uh, the year rolls on. Be safe, everyone.